You ready to watch Cars 3? I trailer? am so ready to watch Cars 3, the least good Pixar movie. We should probably point out that we've watched, we watched the a, entire series. We watched the entire series weekend. to gear up for this trailer just so we could speak uh, intelligently about the Cars universe. Let's do it. Okay. This looks like super realistic. The first two Cars movies are like super cartoony. Cartoony, if you will. But this looks like Days of Thunder. Yeah. Like it. This like... looks like a real movie. And then shit gets intense right here. That's his gut. Shit. Yeah, like his his kneecap his... just exploded. Yeah. So it seems like this movie is going to begin with Lightning McQueen getting in a horrific crash during a race, which is like doubly horrific in the Cars universe because you're really just watching a bunch of dudes run really fast in a big circle. And all of a sudden, one of, one of them just, his kneecaps explode and he just goes just flipping through rolling. the air. With Pixar, do they just figure that like, it's like, okay, we've had fun, parts one and two. Part three is when we're gonna teach children about death and mortality. All right, sit down. Everything you love is gonna die. Your parents are gonna die. You're probably gonna have to watch it happen um, <laughs> unless you die first. That's Toy Story 3. Apparently it's Cars 3. And it's always more horrifying in the Pixar universe because these are objects that could potentially live in this decayed state. Because machine death is a long, drawn-out process yeah. that can take years. The other thing is I don't know how concerned I should be for McQueen. For McQueen. Because we've seen them get just super messed up. As soon as they like go to the repair shop, they're fine. Which I guess in the personal equivalent is like major reconstructive surgery. It seems Cars exists in a world where Humanity has died. I guarantee that if you dig like a foot down in the Cars universe, it's just bones. Yeah, a Human full bones. solid layer of just skeletons. Yeah. All the smart vehicles we built have now taken over and they're just kind of doing their thing. And the society itself is completely insane. There's like a queen, there's terrorists. Yeah. The terrorists are lemon cars and at the end of Cars 2, they almost like blow up the queen. So maybe Cars 3 will be about the horrible racism against lemon cars from here on. Right, um, because Cars 2 was like their 9-11. What's going to be the next plane style spinoff? Boats. That's not bad. I was thinking roller coasters, and they're just going in circles, screaming to be killed. One of the things we've been trying to figure out is how they have sex. Right, because these things definitely fuck. Like in the Planes movies, the animals in the universe are also or, vehicles, or just smaller versions of them. Like, But then you see like a paper glider bird go to its nest with tinier ones. So those things fuck. There's a couple in Planes too. There's two old campers that are going to Yellowstone on their honeymoon. We burned all the treads off our tires on our honeymoon. And then Dane Cook airplane is like, um, like clearly awkward. It's like, you mean, you mean, it's like, oh no, I mean driving. So clearly fucking is a thing that happens in cars and also it has something to do with just burning out your tires. Alternate theory, the entire series just play, takes place in a coma victim's brain. Like the cars will, it'll just zoom out and it'll just be. Oh right, it was, a, like, it was, it was a guy who was in a horrific car accident. That's what Cars 3 is. Bam. We're seeing the beginning of the Cars universe. Lightning McQueen was an actual race car driver. He's in a horrible free jack accident. And instead of getting pulled into the future by Anthony Hopkins, he goes into a coma and it just is imagining the world, the universe of cars where everyone is a car because he has like part of a steering wheel embedded in his skull now or something. You nailed it. We nailed it yeah, right here. Yeah, we did it. We, it's, we figured that's why it's it realistic. We what do they say? Everything will change from here yeah, on? Yeah, from this moment on, we're going we're gonna to pull back the veil. We just solved and, cars. Yeah, we figured out cars. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching our video about cars. Uh, please like and subscribe and go down in the comments and uh, tell us how you think cars fuck. Yeah. Because they do. The lady car in the first movie has a tramp stamp, so... Tell us where their genitals are. Yeah, how does that, how does that work? Is it... Because they're hybrids too in this universe. Is that... Do they fuck? Oh, they fuck. Let us know in the comments below.